I guess just any overall thoughts on how things went today? Uh, we, we got a lot to fix. We got a lot of, uh, I'm going to say, just procedural things. You know, that's what's really the first time we did stuff like that. We had phones with the, with the signalers and, and running on and off, changing personnel and getting special teams in and out. So uh, it, it's, it, was, it was good. We need to do that. We need to do it more. You can, you can never do enough of it. And uh, we uh, said so we can, we can, we'll evaluate the effort. You know, and uh, that's a big deal. But uh, guys, where there's a lot of emotion flying around, and it was fun. What were kind of some of the guidelines as far as when you um, when you went full contact and where you we, started we, offensive drives we, from? We did like we did a four four quarters, and the first quarter and the third quarter, what we call thud, which is just wrap and release and try to rip the ball out, and uh, it just limits it limits hits on on your on your ball carriers. Yeah. We don't need James and, and Ty to take a thousand shots. They'll get that in, in, during the season. So that's all we did. And then we have those down and distance and yard line scripted. And then in the second quarter and the, and the fourth quarter, we just went live and put the ball down and went like a normal scrimmage. Yeah, what was your decision to go live? Because you said we were going to do full movement up until that tackle. And now now we got some tackles there yeah. for the defense. Yeah, it'll be good to see. Um, it'll be it'll be good to see them now when they can fully finish. So that's that. And you have to get some of that in. And, Absolutely. And, and, you know, Ty and James aren't the ones trying to shy away from it. It's it's us as a staff not wanting those guys to get beat up. But they're they're on my case. They want it. They, it was up to them to go live every day, every play, and, and uh, I'm not going to do that with those two. <laughs> but like I said, they'll get enough. Absolutely. Uh, Cooper actually said that doing the tackle today, he realizes that his team needs to or his position needs to work on. Yeah, and and that's that's the that's the fine line that you work when you do thud all the time. That's why it's important to wrap and uh, uh, and then let go instead of just tag off. But uh, they work on tackling every day. There's a there's a, every position is mandated on defense to work a form of tackling every day. But you still there's nothing that even comes close to simulating a live situation. Um, how did how did it go in your opinion with with Tanner today? He he said that he there were some throws that he would like to have made that he didn't. He's being a little bit hard on himself. So tell me about Tanner. And That's uh, I'll I'll reserve judgment till I watch it with Mike Ferder. But right. uh, but you know it, it still goes back to how he was last spring. He he is very hard on himself, yeah. and and that's a good thing. You know, and sometimes to a fault. So uh, he'll 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 look he he will look at this film more closely than anybody. So that's He's that's the type of guy he is. Oh, sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. Um, he's kind of become a veteran on his team at this point. Did you did you want him to kind of to kind of set the pace today and take command? Uh, yeah, you know we have we have uh, an all conference running back James Madison who kind of leads a uh, leads a bit. Uh, it's it's hard for Mitch Geller when he's in an orange and a non contact jersey to uh, to really be out there and 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 be a leader. But he's out there doing stuff too. You know we have some good leadership on both sides of the ball and. And not just Tanner, but you know, like I said, uh, Mitch and, and James and, and Jake Molnar on the O line. You know, there's 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 a good good core of kids. Um, I just asked Tanner this: What did you see from your tight ends today? Anything stand out, or you don't know right I gotta now? Look it's too and much. See. Yeah, I'm, I was, yeah, I was I was I when when I'm out there on the field on these things, I'm looking at so much. I'm watching operation. I'm watching both sides. How how they're they're Morning. you know how yeah. I mean, it's one of those things where I'm not on headphones, so I, I don't want to know what's going on. I want to let them do their thing. So. Uh, all that stuff I'll have to watch. You know, I, I will have to grade the receivers because I'm the receivers coach. So, uh, okay, we'll talk about it on Monday. Yeah, then. we'll talk about it Monday. I'd probably do better <laughs> at, at our, at our post scrimmage press conference. <laughs> can you can you explain again? Obviously, you just said you get more thorough view through uh, watching the film. So again, what do you what do you look for when you're present at? When you're present. Well, here. at the scrimmage here? Yeah. Yeah, like, like I said, I, I, I'm just watching the overall operation, both sides of the ball. I can just stand back and observe everything and, and see how, how the defense is, is getting substitutions and calls in and out, how the offense is getting uh, substitution calls and all that stuff in and out, and just if everything's going smoothly, if the right guys are coming on and off the field and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it's, that's, that's what I think is, as a head coach, is important to, to be a part of that as well. That's all I get to do on Saturdays. Nothing special. Yeah. How's Tristan doing? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll, we'll see. But uh, that's the second guy we've lost uh, to that. And that's all I'll say about that. So I don't get in trouble. <laughs>